Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thou father, and he will show thee, thou elders, and they will tell thee. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. St. John chapter 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew for bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This video is going to be entitled, Things We Once Knew, Remembrance. Things We Once Knew, Remembrance. And mainly along the lines of the topic of spiritual powers, things we did in the ancient times, the men had, the prophets, certain anointed teachers and, and elders, all right, who had the spiritual powers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and performed miracles, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, so I got a little quick video, you know, to bring, um, you know, the spirit to life, you know, besides the scriptures. All right. This is the movie, The Lawnmower Man, 1992. All right. This is premature. I'm not ready. You're ready enough. Gosh. Be reasonable. I can't keep the secret any longer. We can't cut ourselves off from the hand that feeds us. today. I wish I were.
All right, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and they shall walk and not faint. All right, now when you heard in the video, you know, the guy said mind over matter. And truly, as God, as the scriptures say that we're, we are gods, we're going to be gods with mind over matter. All right. You know, he spoke about how he said the people used it in the past. Well, it was the Israelites that had this power given to them by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And as this prophecy, which is Isaiah 4 and 31, the Lord said, but they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. All right. Uh, as the video was playing, I was thinking of a precept. So it kind of, um, I lost the, a few things I wanted to say while playing a video. But the precept I was thinking of was um, in Wisdom of Solomon, which is, uh, this, I believe, the second chapter. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. And verse 14, it says, He was made to reprove our thoughts. All right, so the Most High have created, well, let's say the Most High have given the Spirit, His Word, back unto the prophets that's here on the earth. And they were made to reprove Esau's thoughts. You know, this is a beautiful chapter to get into and read Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. It clearly speaks of the mind of Esau and what their agenda and what their intentions is when it comes to the Lord's hopeful elect or the Lord's people, Israel. All right. Yasha Allah. All right. So back to um, the verse, a couple of precepts I have. Isaiah 40 and 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So we're going to receive power, brothers, and powers that we once knew. Okay. The hopeful elect, the first fruit, whoever the Lord elect is throughout the four corners of the earth, they're going to show forth the Lord's power in the earth, mind over matter. You know, everyone else is going to call it a miracle, but in all reality, all right, it's mind over matter. You know, it's going to be a norm in the kingdom. But on this side, all right, the Most High is going to truly show his power in the earth and truly, and truly show the world who rules the earth. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right. So right now, the Most High, he have sent forth the fishes. The fishes are the prophets who speak the word in sincerity and truth, pushing 100 percent doctrine. And that's out there in season and out of season, man. All right. Fishing for who? The elect pushing the gospel of the Lord. And it says, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Because when these men be quickened, when these men that the prophets that are fishers, the most high is going to turn them into hunters. And when he quicken their spirits, all right, they're going to become what? Terminators, man. Hunters. Hunting who? Hunting down Esau, hunting down the Moabites, hunting down all of the heathens. Because when Yahawashah returns, he's going to take the crowns of all the nations of the earth, man. He's going to take their ruler seat 
is they're going to lose their land. They're going to lose all their resources. They're going to lose all power when Yahweh Shai return. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle wax and weapon of war. You see? So the Lord is going to turn his men into a battle wax and a weapon of war. Okay? It says, for with thee, I will break in pieces the nations. So the Lord said he's going to use his chosen. He's going to use his people. It says, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. The Lord is telling you that even men, older men, younger men, older women, younger women are going to be destroyed. There's a bloodbath. There's a bloodshed that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring upon the land of Babylon. All right. And all throughout the rest of the world, but mainly this place that you call North America. It says, verse 23, I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion and in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. And that mountain represents government. All right. The Most High is against, okay, the government body of, of who rules the world, which is Esau. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord Yahweh, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundation. But thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord Yahweh. This is Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 11. And I will execute judgment upon Moab. And they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from t men and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. This is Psalms 144 and 1. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, who teacheth my hands to war, my fingers to fight. All right. So Yahweh Bashim Shai, all he has to do is quicken the spirit. All he has to do is quicken the brother's spirit, all right? And he have mind over matter, doing extraordinary things, supernatural things, okay? So it's nothing impossible to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the Lord is truly stirring up our pure minds by the way of remembrance, man. Things we once knew, okay? The power that governs the earth is Yahweh, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. These are things we once knew. Now, my, for my last precept, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. You see, because this war all right, it's going to be an Armageddon. This is going to be the end war, the war of all wars, which is World War III. And before the Lord destroyed these Edomites, 
here in America, Babylon the Great. And you're going to see Yahweh Shai get down, man. And the brothers who the Lord give that a uh, spiritual power to, their bodies and their minds are going to be quickened, man. So things we once knew, remembrance. All right, let me um touch the video one more time. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.